All right, so we've got the table drawn. What we're going to do now is we're going to start filling it in. We'll start off with center of gravity. In order to lower VMC, you want the center of gravity to be fully forward. Why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. You want the center of gravity to move forward because of the idea of movement arms. Let's say that you have an airplane here. And let's say you have an identical airplane here. Two airplanes exactly the same. And uh, let's say that on this one, the center of gravity is well forward. And on this one, the center of gravity is well aft. So you've got your center of gravity here forward. Uh, center of gravity aft, and of course the rudder is going to be in the back here and here. Now, let's say that one of the engines fails. For example, this engine, uh, the left engine fails on both of them. The immediate tendency, of course, is for the airplane to turn to the left. What you're going to do to stop that is you're going to step on the rudder, and the rudder is going to oppose that turning tendency, which is its whole job. Now the question is, in which of these situations will the rudder be more effective? And the answer is the one where it's further from the center of gravity. Why? Because, just like everything else in the plane, uh, all rotation is about the center of gravity, meaning the airplane will pitch, bank, and yaw with the center of gravity being essentially the pivot point. Now, as you remember, if you draw a teeter-totter, there's a teeter-totter, and if you draw another teeter-totter, so you've got two teeter-totters, and we'll put a weight on each. Now if your goal is to lift the weight, you obviously want the longest possible arm, because if you apply the same amount of force, you'll be able to lift the um, weight, whatever it happens to be. Um, but lifting the weight will be easier with a longer arm, uh, such as this one, rather than a shorter arm, such as this one. So you always want a longer arm because it allows you to generate more um, motion, essentially, with the same amount of force. Over here you'd only get a little bit of motion, over here you'd get some considerable motion. Same thing applies. You want the longer movement arm, right here, because that's going to allow the rudder to apply more force keeping the airplane straight, whereas over here with a very short movement arm the rudder is only going to be able to apply a little bit of force, or rather the rudder is going to become less effective. When the rudder becomes less effective, VMC increases. Fairly simple.